Brian Marin's Cricket School of Excellence hosted the inaugural Under-10 Tens Tournament at Central Park Century City on Friday the 16th and 23rd of September. The Ryan Marin's Cricket School of Excellence has been running for 11 years now. We started off in Cape Town. Um, while I was playing for Western Province in the late 90s, I started coaching young cricketers um, on a very small scale. And just over the years, we got bigger and bigger and just offering the young cricketers in, in the Western Cape an opportunity to come to a four-day cricket clinic where we cover all the aspects of the game. And we also include outside people such as eye, eye, eye specialists and back manufacturers just to give the kids a better understanding of the game of cricket. Um, we also do private coaching to offer the, kid, the young cricketers the opportunity to get coached one-on-one, more technical, more intense sessions. And then over the last seven years, we've been working with young cricketers in the townships, um, mainly from Samora Michelle Cricket Club and Kyalisha Cricket Club in Cape Town. And basically we're out there to try and help the young cricketers improve the game and also we try and encourage the, the, the importance of spo- um, sportsmanship, the, way, the reasons behind interacting with kids from the various different backgrounds and just giving the kids an extra opportunity to get out there, play cricket and to have fun and to take the cricket further if they are wanting to, otherwise just to learn the basics and to enjoy themselves. This is the Ryan Marins under 10 10s, which is giving the under 10 boys who are 10 years old, turning 11 soon, an opportunity to play with coloured clothing, coloured balls, um, play with coloured stumps, something they don't do on a daily basis, and to play under the lights. So when the sun sets later in Cape Town, it's a bit windy today, but once the sun sets today, tonight we're going to play under the lights, the lights will come on, and they give the kids the opportunity to what they see on TV when they're watching their, their Euros play on TV in the IPO or 2020 or 48, 45 go overs games for South Africa or for the provincial sides. The tournament is, is hosted over two weeks. Um, six teams divided into two divisions. Uh, pool A last week was Samora Michelle, Jan van Rubik and Elkana. And this week we've got Redham, Ryan Marins Creek School, Northern Suburbs and Parklands. So basically the winner of Pool A will play against the winner of Pool B today. It's 10 overs per side, maximum of 5 metre run up for the bowlers and the batsmen have to bat their, their full 10 overs. So what will happen today, we'll get through Pool B and then the winner from Pool last week will play against the winner. And we also have um, a nice floating shield for the winning team and also um, Gunnamoor have donated very nice prizes for the best batsman, bowler, fielder and very kindly Gunnamoor have donated a very nice cricket bat for the, the best player of the tournament. It was a great way to start the season for the youngsters as not many 10-year-olds get the opportunity to play under lights and for different teams. No, look, anything with regards to the sport and it's going to develop the kids, I think it's great. You know, I think things like this where they get to play with kids outside of their own group of schools and that is fantastic. It is something that we have a chance to do. So it's is It's a good thing. It's nice to play to play. I think that having a, as well as learning, they're having a fantastic time. In an amazing surrounding, and I think they're benefit, benefiting a lot from the experience. It's been absolutely fantastic. My son's been so excited about being able to play a day night, and he's just absolutely loved it. It's been great to have them outdoors and just doing good, clean fun. Uh, the boys are very talented. It's a, it's a brilliant opportunity for them to come to a venue like this. Uh, I'd like to thank Ryan Marin and all the sponsors here today for having provided um, the venue and just for this occasion for the kids to experience cricket at its, uh, at its best. Gun and Moore showed their support by supplying equipment to the value of over 8,000 rand. We've just recently started now with Ryan, uh, with the uh, Gun and Moore sponsorship. Uh, it's, I like the concept, it's nice, it's great, it's for the youngsters, it's, uh, it's a great idea. I think he's got a lot of kids coming to these things and for the start of the season I think it's very good. So Gun and Moore will support him as much as we can. Uh, and yeah, we look forward to seeing a lot more of these tournaments to be honest. Gunnamo has uh, always sponsored loads of uh, up-and-coming youngsters. We we have lots and lots of, of kids that are just breaking into uh, provincial teams uh, at all the, to all the age groups. We always have done even some of the better-known provincial players we've had for, for ages since they were sort of 16 or, or younger. So yeah, we love developing kids. Well done to the winners, Redham House Constantia.